Hello, Gabe Heller back here again, doing some more of this gauntlet. As you can see, I just won, even though he has 215 life, and I only have 82. <laughs> Suppose having started with 20. Uh, he ran out of cards, so I won. Uh -huh. Okay, next I am playing Trevin with Red Dragon, which is a classic name for computer stuff. There was an old BBS game by the name of Red Dragon back in the day. Okay. <clears throat> Start of duel. Trevin won the toss, and we'll play first. He did not take a mulligan. He likes his hand. So I think of mine. Uh, okay. Now we'll see what I think of mine. Now that it's changed completely. Ah, uh, tundra or a tundra. Let's play a tundra. Ah, uh, felon's cane, sure. More winds of change. Nothing can do about it. Lost pearl. Black vice. That's it for now. We'll put the meek stone out later if we actually need to. Earthquake! Uh, okay. Now we're both at 19. Actually, most of my creatures are flying. Um, yeah, let's get rid of the paradise out there. Can't quite cast that Sarah Angel. Oh, what do I do? Yeah, Kismet. There we go. I'll make it a little harder for it. There we go. Sarah Angel time. No earthquakes will not affect my creatures. Ha ha ha. Uh, we're still not ready for stasis. Um, uh, if we just wait. Maybe we'll do them without getting stasis out. Oh, Rock of Carriages. Okay. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to cast stasis. Oh, yes, definitely. Stasis. Tundra. Yeah. Let's see what you do about that, huh? Huh? Can go for it. Ah! I won! Of course I didn't draw enough land. You drew more land than me. Seriously. Well, okay, so I had a mox and a birds. But this is what happens when the combo really works out. You just win amazingly fast. Okay. Jinnifreet. Bendidret. This will have a lot of flying stuff in it, so um, it'll be very important that I get the combo out early before uh, he gets his flyers out, because he'll be able to uh, defend with the flyers against my Sarah Angels. That'll probably be giant flyers, too. Oh, you will take the first turn, but he did not take a mulligan. Okay. Uh, well, I guess Savannah Black Lotus. Yeah, sure. Um, that's not a very good... Yeah, I think I'm just going to Time Twister right away with Black Lotus. Oh, much better. Ivory Tower. Yeah. Ooh, I want to play it slow because of the ivory tower. But if I play it slow, I could have some trouble. Yeah, I'm going to play it slow. Because I got my ivory tower right away. I may as well take advantage of that. Life tap. Whenever any forest, gain one life. Oh, so he's going to have ways of gaining life too, huh? Um, unfortunately, I can pay for lots of stuff with Birds of Paradise, can't I? So I will cast the Birds of Paradise. <laughs> Siphon Soul. Two damage to each other player, gain one life for each... Ah, oh, yeah, okay, so... It's uh, more useful in a multiplayer game, which this, this uh, version does not allow. Okay, um... Yeah, another Birds of Paradise. Be options. Green Matter Battery, that makes me think there's going to be uh, hurricanes in the stack. Uh, let's see here. I want to cast Instill Energy, hell yeah. Okay, so then I'll have five mana next turn, because I've got four now. Okay. Ooh, at least he's not flying. But I'm going to really need that, uh, that Meek Stone to show up soon. Okay, let's see here. On the other hand, I mean, I am gaining life at a prodigious rate, but he is gaining life at a semi-prodigious rate. Okay, 
So, we play Tropical Island. Sure. Do I want to cast Holy Day now? No, I'm sure I'll need it more later. It's a lot of random gens. Okay, so, what is this? Oh, my birds of paradise have forest walk thanks to their new gen. Weird. Okay, white. Then, uh, still energy. Then we can cast a Sarah Angel. Yes. Well, something's happening here. Uh, I don't know. I can't really block that, can I? Okay, um, well, I better start taking his life away here, because he's certainly taken mine. Hey, stasis! Perfect time for stasis, definitely. Okay, stasis. Uh, blue. And something else. Yeah. Alrighty, and we still energy. Good, okay, perfect. That, that saved our butt right there. What's more, our Sarah's unblockable. Not that it has anything to block it with, because it gets Forest Walk randomly from the Urnum Gen, which is another uh, target. No, he can target it. It's not a random one. So maybe it actually existed in the de in the, in the actual Magic game for a while. There are a lot of... As I've mentioned before, there are some cards in here that never actually existed in the game or were restricted or banned rather quickly, like a Black Lotus, things of that kind. It's really fun to be able to play with them, though. Especially when, you know, your opponent could just as well have them, uh, because no one has to pay for any cards in this game, unlike the newer versions where you pay for virtual cards and regular cards. Meh. Okay. Um, and still energy, yes. And then we need to use it. There we go. Nice. Cast the Library of Blank here, and then we can get even more life per turn. We don't have to worry about casting things that aren't terribly useful to us. That's one of the things, if you have mana in your mana pool and it doesn't immediately match the color of what you're casting, sometimes it won't automatically eat it up, and then you have to click on it down here to be able to figure out how to do that. I took a lot of mana burn before I figured out how to do that. Okay. I got to uh, untap one of my instilled energy uh, birds of paradise last turn. I don't need more. I'm good. See, I may as well play the island. It's not a forest like all of these other lands, so it won't give him life if I forget and tap it. Is also not a force. So yeah, we'll go ahead and fight that. Not that it matters because we won the match! You won, don't glow, computers are people too. You've won the match! I would have drawn another stasis. He would have drawn a howling line, which probably would help me more than him. Okay, one more here. Uh, oh, yes, nine, opponent 9 of 10. So we've got two more opponents. Let's see how quickly we can get through bubbles with clockwork. Uh, I don't think cl uh, clockwork, I think, is a deck I made, and I don't think it's all that good a deck, but we'll see. We might pull something out with it. We'll see. Okay. Um, and then delivery flying, sure. We don't need it, because we don't have a lot of lands, and we don't have a bunch of cards in our hand. Wow, that's, uh, okay. Yeah, that's, 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 that's strong. So he cast Fast Bond, which allows him to play more than one land per turn, and uh, he lost a couple of life playing a couple extra lands, but this land here gives you three land as long as it's used for artifact, and so, sorry, three mana. So with that and the mana vault and these two, he was able to cast a Clockwork Beast on his first turn. He's down to two cards, mind you, but the Clockwork Beast is 7-4. Oof. Um, I'm going to have to hope I can cast the Force Field soon. Oh, I need one more mana for the Force Field. Oh, this is gonna hurt. It hurt. Oh my god, he's got another one already? 
Okay, uh, yeah, force field. Though, oh, it's too late. He's just gonna kill me next turn. The gauntlet is over. Oh, no! Oh, no, that's right. You have to pay to untap the clockwork beast. Okay, so I'm not, I'm not dead. Oh, he made that one eternal warrior, though. Thank God I got the force field out. Okay. Uh, I wish I could afford Wrath of God, but I can't. I can't afford anything. I've got to use all my mana for the force field next turn, and I'll still take two damage. Well, depends on what he untaps. We'll see. Okay, so he's only got one. Oh, God. Uh, no, I'm dead. Yep, I'm dead. I lost the match. But as you can see, I got quite a ways through the gauntlet with my favorite deck. What do I do for an encore? Line dance. Um, yeah, well, I guess what I do for an encore is end the video early. <laughs> so much for that. It was a good run, though.